hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm looking a little crusty so this is today is monday and like i said i was gonna record this video and it is a full face of first impressions so everything on my face is gonna be new there are some things that aren't gonna be new like my cream contour and i think that's about it but other than that um everything is brand new so here is everything that was in that last haul so first we're gonna start off by i always start off doing my eyebrows and like if you look i still have some freaking um i still have some what do you call it some eyelash glue on my lashes so when i start with my makeup i normally just the first thing i do is start with my carmex and you guys already know that this is my favorite if you watch my last video I love this and I always put it on because it makes my crusty ass lips juicy. So now that our freaking lips are all um, moisturized, we're going to go in. First guys, I want to try this one. This is the um, Morphe Almond Brow Cream. I want to try this one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it because just look at the color. It Like on camera, like let me see. Oh, now that the light's hitting, you see that? It's like really light and then like my hair is black. So I don't know how I'm going to like this one. But let's let's just try it. And if I don't like it, then I'll, I'll switch to eyebrow pencil. But first we have the Maybelline. Uh, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 22. And I'm going to use this. It's all, it's all dirty and shit. But I always, no matter what, this one's not new in the haul or whatever. But no matter what, I always use this to conceal my eyebrows. Because it is just so creamy. It's just so blendable. And it's not drying on the face. So I'm actually going to be using this. And I'm just going to do, I, with the brush, I just literally go like this. And then I'm going to get a thin brush, which I'm going to get from my stack of brushes. Um, I'm going to get this thin brush, which you cut creases with this, but this is how thin it is. And then it's going to be the JH42. And then you're going to want to just... Basically clean out your eyebrows how you're gonna want them like shape them and my eyebrows are thick So I just get to follow the shape Okay, next we're gonna go in with this ColourPop E14 brush and it's just a little thin brush with the spoolie you don't want to brush your hair upwards and then just do this. Okay guys, so as you've seen, I only did the ends of my brow. And this color is light, but it doesn't look bad, so we're good. I literally only had to fill in just the ends. And now to clean up the top, I'm going to use the same concealer, but I'm going to use really little of it. And never put product um, in the front of your eyebrows, just because I used to do that and my eyebrows used to look dumb. Don't put it too close to the brow because then you don't, don't put the like, concealer too close to your brow because then you're just going to mess up your whole eyebrow. So you get the same brush you were using to conceal and just clean around it. Then I'm going to be taking this brush. I don't know where this brush is from, but I know I got it like a long time ago in like a makeup, in a makeup thing, uh, this thing I went to go see. I don't know if you guys know who Cam J is, Choncha La Chola. I went to go see him like a long ass time ago and I want it in that little bag. So you just want to clean around your eyebrows. And the best thing to do is sometimes just take off the product with your, with your finger. And if you feel like your eyebrows are not even enough, just like I feel like this eyebrow is always the one I don't like, you're going to kind of clean off the brush in the back of your hand and do sh light strokes upward. Okay, and you know what? My eyebrows ain't freaking twins. They're sisters today because they're always like that, to be honest. So if they're twicking, don't mind them, right? <laughs> 
All right, so that's what we got on going on for the eyebrows. Next, since today I will be starting with my eyes, I'm going to actually um, get some of the same concealer, this one. And I'm going to just put it all over my lids. Don't put too much. It looks like hidden. So, I got all the makeup brushes I will be using. Look guys, when I first started makeup, I thought that you needed so many brushes to get your makeup done. But honestly... All you really need is three brushes, and I will show you guys which three brushes you really need to do an eyeshadow look. All you really watch, you're gonna see that I don't even use all these brushes, I just got them out because you know the brushes. But all you really need is a JH30, which is a big brush like this. It doesn't even gotta be from this collection. Morphe has a lot that are not that expensive. You could, it doesn't only have to be Morphe, but get a brush like this, and then you need, um, well, for the under eye, you need these two brushes which the flat one is a JH43 and the JH39 is a little more to blend the under eye out and for the for the top part of that you're just going to need one like this which I already showed you guys and then a brush like this that's a little smaller something like something like this one right here but a little bigger to put that um product in the outer corner and then something to blend that outer corner out and that's all you really need these brushes but but nobody ever talks about that. Everybody always wants to just use a lot of brushes. So for all you people that are barely starting makeup, that's a trick. That's a that's a tip, I mean. But we're going to go with the JH08. And then we're just going to blend this out. Bl blend the concealer out. And this is going to... Most people use like an actual base. But I'm not going to use that because I like how concealer does it. It makes my makeup last. Setting the concealer and this, it just makes my makeup last. So you don't have to buy an expensive base, you could just do this. Okay, guys, so right off the bat, something I have to say about this product, which is the um, brow cream, it is really, really creamy. So you are gonna have to set it with some type of brow powder, or we'll see at the end. I'm not gonna use a brow powder today just to show you guys if it really lasts or not, but yeah guys let's move on to eyeshadow so we did that we blended out this and now you're gonna want to go in with uh with any powder so with a brush like this you're just gonna want to dip in and then just set Okay guys, now we're going to continue to our eyeshadow and you just want to get a wipey. Any wipey doesn't have to be a makeup wipe. This one's a freaking baby wipes for the culo and shit, but you're going to want to make sure there's no powder or nothing. And you're going to want to moisturize your skin. So while, while you're doing your eyeshadow, don't prime it yet. Just moisturize it. So for that, we're going to be using um, the 4th Ray Beauty, the Daily Facial Moisture. So this is just basically a cream and I'm going to be letting it sit on my skin so it can moisturize it while I'm doing my eyeshadow. And when I'm doing eyeshadow, I do start off with um, my eyes. I never start with my face because just you want to avoid the fallout and all that stuff. And here I am having trouble. So I'm going to use my big ass dentist. So um, it has product right there. So I'm going to just do this. Oh shit, that was too much. Okay, that's enough. Okay, and I actually did already use this because when I forgot what I was doing, I wasn't wearing no makeup one day. Uh, well, which was on Saturday, I think. No, no, no. I don't remember. I think yeah, I think it was Saturday. I wasn't doing anything, and I needed my skin to look good because skin always is important to me. So I just put this on, and it was super hydrating. Like it gives your skin a glow. And always make sure you get down to your neck. Because when you get older that shit gets wrinkly. And you just want to take care of it as much as you're taking care of your face. Just know that. I learned that tip from Jeffree Star. <laughs> Alright guys so now we're starting with the 35XO. So this is the new palette I had showed you guys in the haul. And this is what it looks like. So I actually don't know what to do with this. There's so many pretty colors. So first, no matter what this is, um, I don't know if I should take. I always do brown. So I'm going to show you guys 
Ooh, these colors are pretty. Mm. I don't know. Let's just go in with... We're going to go in with this shade right here. This... That shade. And that shade is called Eye Contact. Go in with the first brush, which is a Morphe M441. And it already has pink. As you notice, this is my pink brush. This is to do my pink eyeshadow looks. I'm like, okay, guys. So, we're going to go in with that that shade eye contact which is this one right here and that's that m441 if you guys can't find any of the other brushes i told you guys this is one of the brushes i first started with okay so we're gonna put the that color we're gonna kind of put it all over the crease it's very light so you're just gonna have to work with it Okay, now that you guys have something like that, your base basically, you're going to want to go in with another shade. And I'm going to be take, taking this shade, which is called Talk Feelings. It's like a mauve purple type. And you're just going to grab it in the same brush. I'm telling you guys, you guys don't need a lot of brushes to make to do this makeup look. So you're going to, with that, with that same shade, look, you can't even see with that same shade talk feelings you're going to go over that kind of but just keep it low right here keep it low just just to get a little darker and key to this is you want to start off really slow and it's okay if you start off with a little bit of pigment you want to just start it off slow because then you don't want to end up with a harsh as color on your eyes I'm gonna go in with plus one which is this one it's like a wait is it this one yeah plus one this one and I'm gonna get a different brush I'm gonna actually use the JH 40 and it looks like this just like a really feathery brush and you were going to want to take that and you're gonna put it in the outer corner So next with this concealer brush, the so same one I used for my eyebrows, this little thin one, it is the JH42. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to cut your crease. And for this, I am actually using that new ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer in the shade wait, 00 Fair. So this is the one I'm going to be using. And I'm going to put it in the back of my hand. So then you take that with a little bit. You're going to cut the crease. And I don't know how to explain to cut your crease. But you just want to cut it. Like do however you feel like you like it. So this is how I like it. So this is how I'm going to show you guys. So for that, you want to do it really, really nice and slow because if not, you will mess this up. And start off kind of low because if you go too high, then you're just going to mess up your whole your whole eye look. So let me do that to the next eye and then we'll show you what the next step is. So next, I'm actually going to take the color right here, that bright as purple you see. I don't even know what it, oh, it's not even focusing. Hold on. Okay, well, you get the point that one then I'll be taking that meet the rents and then with the same well actually with this brush which is the JH 37 it looks like 
that. It doesn't want to focus. But it's just a, br a little thin brush. Not a thin brush, my bad. Just like a little brush. And then you're going to dip it in. Not too much, but a little. And you're going to do this in the outer corner. You're going to want to put this here. Just in the outer corners. Then with another brush that looks, it's a little big. Oh, ooh, ooh. it's a little bigger than that one. You're, it's this is the JH thirty six. You're gonna just want to blend it out. And this has nothing on the brush, so you're just gonna blend, blend your life away. Key to makeup is blending. See, and you blend, and you want to keep doing that till you feel like the color you want is there. To the right color and if you want you could even bring it out a little bit just right there though don't bring it up higher because if not you will mess up your whole eye makeup So now that you look like this, you're going to want to take that same brush you use concealer with and you're just going to want to go over it. Nothing on the brush, just go over it like to flatten out those creases because obviously you didn't set it yet and it's going to be wet. So just do that. So now you're going to want to go in with this shade, which is Crushing Hard. Focus. We're gonna take that on a flat brush that looks like this and it's not gonna focus because it's all zoomed in But it's just a flat brush and then the JH40 it's the JH41 and it looks like this and then you're gonna want to take that shade and just dip it in the brush and then It's gonna look like that and You're gonna want to just pat it on there Now that you have that, you're going to want to put some more of that purple shade just to blend out the colors together. Do that. Add a little bit more definition. Blend it out very lightly. Okay guys, so now that you have your eyeshadow and everything done, you're going to want to go get another clean um, wipey and just clean under your eyes. Okay guys, so now that we have wiped it off, we look like that. We're blended and everything. So we're going to start on the face. And this is exactly why we didn't prime. Because then in, when we wipe off all the fallout, we, we would have took off all the primer. So now we're going to go in with our actual primer. And we're going to be using the Tatcha. The Tasha. How do you say that? Tatcha. Tatcha. Okay, so we're going to put that dewy cream. And don't put too much of this because one, it's expensive and two, it just hydrates the shit out of your face once you put a little bit. So if you guys can see what I was telling you guys in my haul that this one was actually the color was lavender. So I think that's cute. You're going to want to put that on your skin, rub it in. So next you're going to go in with, um, well I'm going to go in with the Flawless Stay Hydrating Primer and this is one of the primers that I wanted to try. It looks like this. That primer low-key smells good. So next we're going to go in with the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream 
Oh, but I already tried this too and I liked it a lot. It makes your eyes, your under eyes look so good. Okay, next we are going to go in with another primer. See, this is what I mean by I actually do go in with a lot of primers. Just in my last video that I ran out of my primers and I didn't want to use these new ones. So we're going to go in with this um, watermelon face milk, which is from ColourPop. And you just want to... Hold on, my hands are all slippery. You don't want to just drip, drip. So next I'm going to be going in with this Benefit Professional and I'm going to just put it like in the pore areas and kind of rub it on my nose. And I don't know if you can tell on camera but this shit blurs your face so good. So if you guys are looking for a good I'm pretty sure everybody has heard about this. This shit is so old, but it is so good. This one is so good, which is the Benefit Professional. And I like it. So far, I like everything I've bought, which is the primers, the eyeshadow palette, the eyebrow, the eyebrow cream, everything I'm liking so far. And if I don't like something, then I will tell you guys. But so far, I do like everything. So next to prime, I'm going to be using the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Setting Spray for all skin types, which is that one. And then you're just going to want to spray it. Ooh, now that you're looking all wet and shit, you're going to wait for this to sink in. So normally right now... I'd actually be um, wetting my sponges while all this sinks in. I don't go right in because then my face will be slippery. So let this dry. Now that my freaking primers are all dry, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Foundation in 3W1 Dusk. Hopefully, hopefully it's my shade. So I'm just going to shake it before I put it on, obviously. And then... I'm going to put it in the back of, I'm just going to put it in the back of this. And I'm going to do like two to three pumps. Okay guys, so we're going to take a flat brush like this. It's an eyeshadow brush, but again, I told you guys I use it to put on my foundation. And the foundation looks like that. I think it is going to be my shade. Mix it in the back a little, even though we're not mixing shades. This is just one shade. So I'm going to... Ooh... I already like it and I haven't even blended it. Okay guys, so first of all, let me just say that I like the color I picked. Um, I think it if it would have been a little darker, I would have liked it a little more. But when I put this shit on, look at how smooth and blurred I look. So this foundation, I don't know if it claims to say that it's... It blurs and all, but that looks so smooth, and that was just one fat ass layer of foundation. So, so far, do I love it? Um, yes, I do actually really, really like it. We're just gonna have to see how it holds up throughout the day. That will be the real test if I like it throughout the day. So, I'm gonna take that same brush I used for my foundation, but obviously, I'm gonna clean it out in um, with some makeup wipes and just make sure it's clean. And then I'm going to use the KKW Concealer in the shade Conceal 5. That's what it's called, Conceal 5. So I'm going to again take it in the back of my hand because that's what we do now. We put it in the back of our hand. So while you let that sit on your skin, you're just going to want to clean off that brush, clean the back of your hand. Let it sit, like I said, for 30 seconds so you get more coverage on your on your makeup. Honestly, I already have a lot of coverage, but I, I do like to use that little trick where you let it sit on your face for a little bit because it does Damn, I can't even talk because it does make your makeup look more full coverage So for now, let me just clean off 
the back of this foundation. It was a lot of foundation. Well, not a lot of foundation, but I could have done another full face with that foundation. So make sure that when you guys are doing this, um, a little bit is more for this product. Now that it's set on my face for 30 seconds or whatever, I'm going to be using that new Beauty Creations sponge in nude. The one that looks like this. And I'm probably going to be taking this side and I'm going to use it to blend out my concealer. Let's see how I like this beauty blender. I don't know what the fuck is going on right there, but hold on. I'm not sure if it was the beauty blender or that the product was... Okay, I'm going to try the different beauty blender because it's picking up all the product. Let me, let me, first of all, let me apply more concealer because if you could see, look, it took out all that coverage from the foundation. So I think it was a sponge. So what I think I'm going to do, let me, let me try it one more time. Next, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place um, foundation stick and the shade, you already know the shade. Let's see if it wants to concentrate. You guys already know that shade anyways i'm gonna be using it it's not new but i don't have i didn't buy any new cream products um cream contour because i already had this and i already love this so i'm actually gonna um i'm actually gonna fast forward this part of me blending on my cream contour because you guys already saw in my last video how i blend it so, so i'm back guys and everything blended out super good um nothing picked off like no, none of the foundation picked off my face nothing everything is still how it was just all blended now so now i'm actually going to be using this new setting powder it's not new but like to me because i just bought it it's the huda beauty pound cake easy bake loose baking and setting powder so i'm basically gonna set my face with this and i don't know if this is normal but this shit came already kind of like oh shit i get i don't know but it's all up there so basically it looks like that and i'm gonna be using uh i'm gonna get that burnt uh, that sponge that i used for the concealer i'm gonna clean up all this as you know Okay guys, so so far this Huda Beauty Powder is actually pretty good and really soft. The reason I still haven't pressed in the rest of it is because I'm going to bake anyway. So when I when I take off the bake, I'll take off the powder that's right here on my face. So to bake, I'm going to be using the same Milk Makeup um, Powder. And I'm going to just let it sit under my eyes like I did in the last video. So we're going to do that so we don't have any fallout. We just dust it away. So I'm going to go in back with the Morphe palette. And we're going to go in with the same exact colors we use. Whatever you do on top, you do on the bottom. So basically, I'm going to grab the flat brush, which is the JH43 that looks like this. And I'm going to grab the shade Talk Feelings and Eye Contact. So the lightest the lightest colors which is this one and this one are gonna go really really close to the lash line and we're gonna blend it out okay guys so we're gonna get that same flat brush and we're gonna go into love story and meet the rents and we're gonna push that really 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 close to the lash line so mix them both and push into the lash line like this then you're gonna go in with this brush which is the JH39 and you're gonna get those two light shades mostly eye contact because it's lighter and then you're just gonna blend it out you're gonna blend out those harsh lines from the darker shade
Okay, so as for the eyes, we will finish them when we're kind of done with their face. For the eyes, eyeshadow, everything is done. All I'm really going to have to do is put my eyeliner, some mascaras, and then some, some freaking highlight at the top. But we will be doing that once that once um, our face is done. So now you're going to want to basically just dust off the powder. So you're going to get just any little dusting brush. And I'm going to use this one. I don't. I, my cousin gave this to me a long time ago. So I don't even know what brush this is. You're just going to want to. Okay guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear background noise. But if you do just don't mind it. Just pay attention to me. The house is full again. So. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be going in with the Sephora powder, the Sephora Micro Smooth powder in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to set my whole entire face with that. And I'm going to be using the JH01, which is a big brush, just to set the whole entire face. I will set it and then I'll come back and tell you guys how I'm liking the powder. Okay, guys, so... I actually really do like this powder and I will be using this powder instead of my fit me well just because I have it and I do like it do I think it's worth your money I mean it makes your face look really really smooth so if you like to look smooth all these products that I have been using are good one thing I do recommend right off the bat is the foundation I do really like it if you're more dry you're probably not gonna like it but it is a really really good foundation and it is full coverage so I do recommend this the kkw concealer i already loved it so if you guys want to pick that one up that's good if you don't if you don't want that one you can pick up the born this way which is another i like that one too but that kkw concealer it is good um the huda beauty powder it is good too i like it it did make my face really smooth and it it like blurred everything out so i kind of would recommend this one and i will keep using this as a setting powder because it works really good is it better than my chanel um probably it gives me more coverage the chanel is something a little bit less coverage and more natural and more of a natural finish but if you you don't care if you you want to look like you got makeup on then then go ahead and get, get this one it's cheaper and it is good i do really like that one so next we're gonna move on to the charlotte tilbury oh my god the moment i've been waiting for i really want to see if this charlotte tilbury works so this is the airbrush flawless finish uh, complexion perfecting micro powder in the shade medium too so I will be using that with in all the spots that I basically highlighted damn this shit is so hard to open okay so it looks like this I should have got medium one just if I was going to be highlighting under my eyes but I'll be taking this brush and this is a JH07 and I'm gonna just tap in a little bit and do under the eyes forehead nose all that everywhere I highlighted basically I don't know if you guys can tell but I can this side looks so much more smoother it just looks so much better just right off the bat let me finish applying it and then I'll tell you guys my final thoughts on this so guys if I had to make you guys choose between one or the other this one's cheaper and this one's gonna be your whole like you're gonna set your whole entire face and this one is a little more expensive this one's $45 which one I what I recommend out of the two because honestly you don't need both but I'm just extra like that and I like to brighten and highlight with powders as well so if you don't want to get a full face powder like you could use this one you can use the actual fit me one for the rest of your face and to highlight you can use this one which one do i recommend out of both which one did i really see a difference it was a charlotte tilbury it does live up to its expectations what everybody says about it i do believe it now so we're just gonna keep going with the makeup see where this goes but if i recommend one it's gonna be this one this one's good but you could just honestly use your Maybelline Fit Me. It's like the same thing. But I'm going to be using these two now. And I like them both. So I will keep purchasing both of them. But if you need one of those. You really want to buy one. And you don't want to spend both money. You don't want to spend twice as money. Just just get the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think it's way better. Alright. So next we're going to be using this Morphe. Um, this is in the Medium Vibes. It's the palette for the face. And we're going to be using, these are really, really pretty shades. Ooh, I like the bronzer shade. 
So to contour, I'm going to be using this shade. Not This one's a little too dark, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use that to contour with the JH05. And I'm going to just dip into it. Alright guys, so next I'm going to go in and I'm going to bake. So I'm just going to do that real quick so I don't have to talk a lot. Okay guys, so now that we're baking, I'm actually going to bronze now. And you're probably like, why do you contour and bronze? Because contouring is where I get in with the smaller brush to make the definition make me look shizzle. And the um, bronzer is just going to give me bronzer, like it's just going to give me a more bronze look. So it's going to give me more color to my face. So we're going to bronze now. And I'm actually going to be using the, the JH04. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. That shade is so pretty. Mm, let's, let's dip into that. Okay, guys. So right off the bat, dude, those those bronzer shades, oh my god, they're so fucking good. Like, they blend like a dream. So... Even if you don't want to get it because of the blush or the highlighter, the brighter, I think this palette is worth it just because of the bronzers already. The colors are amazing. And I think they have a, a light one, a medium one, and a dark one. So if you're my tone or my shade, this one is actually really, really good. I like it. So let me see. Let me put the blush and the highlight and I'll recommend I'll recommend it after. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it because I really like the bronzer. So so let's I'm gonna apply this blush right here. In the corner, it's the more matte one. The other one's like a little bit more pink, and I don't want too much pink. So I'm going to just get that one with my JH06 brush. Okay, guys. That's it. You guys have to buy this. You guys have to buy this. This, this palette will save you so much money. Like, it has your bronzers, your blushes, and your highlights. I don't know how the highlight's gonna work yet, but we'll see right now. Right, like, but like, as I'm using it though, like, I want to recommend it more and more. So, you're not gonna have to, like me, I have the Kylie bronzer, the Kylie blush, and it's like four other highlights. For this one, look, you have your blushes and your bronzers right here. So, this palette is so worth it. It's only $24. You'll be saving a lot more money if you just get this palette. I never, I've always wanted to get this palette, but I never got it. And now that I finally have it, I do not regret it. I love this powder. So um, we're going to go back into the highlighter right now. But I'm going to um, dust all this um, bake off. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be showing you guys this trick I learned from Harouche. And this product is not new. I've been having it. I just didn't do it in my last video because I didn't freaking... I had it right here, but I forgot to put it on. So this is the liquid glow in the shade Perla. And you just want to put just a little bit, not too much because this shit goes a long way and you are gonna get a brush and this is the JH32 and this is actually an eyeshadow brush but it looks like this I'm going to mix it in the back of my hand and just do this so mix it like this this is gonna give you a more dewy effect so you're gonna want to put it on right wherever you're gonna put your highlight Okay guys, so now you're just going to want to put blend away with your blush brush. I always go in with my either my bronzer or my blush just to just to blend everything out once again. You want to blend that out. And then we're going to go back in with this um palette and I'm going to get the there's two shades, but I'm going to get you can't see cuz it's not concentrating, but I'm going to get the more pinkier shade. And I'm going to get it wait actually Actually, I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to put that so I can get the best the best color out of it. And I will be taking the the Beauty Creations watermelon setting spray. Right off the bat, I do like this so much. I do like the highlight, the bronzer, the blush, everything. But if I were to get this palette, it's honestly not going to be because of the highlight. It's going to be because of the bronzer and the blush. Everything just blends so beautifully. So I'm extra, so I am going to add some more highlight because that to me isn't enough. So let me just go in with... I'm going to go in with the Juvia's highlight. 
and just add a little bit of that so again you're gonna go in with your blush brush blend everything out make sure everything is blended and you don't look like you have stripes all over your face okay guys so after that you're gonna go in with another setting spray I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Luminous the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist So after you do that, you're going to want to go into another setting spray. And guys, guess what? Look, I got the Patrick Ta She's Thirsty um, setting spray. And this is the one that didn't make it to the haul, but it is now here in this video. I actually got it on Saturday, not on Monday, not today. Got it on Saturday, but doesn't that look freaking bougie? So this one, it actually smells like... Like rose because it is infused with rose. Patrick. <sighs> Love this. So for the last uh, setting spray, I'm going to be using the Morphe Times Jeffree Star just to really set all this in place. I think that I always use this one at the end because I feel like this one's just going to... This one's just going to really make your makeup last. Now this one I feel like does make your makeup last. So just spray it everywhere. And now we're going to let that dry and while that dries down I'm going to be doing the rest of my eyes so I'm going to do the mascara and then the setting the eyebrows off camera so I'm going to set my eyebrows with the clear brow gel for my mascara I'll be using this one for the top lashes and this one for the bottom lashes and then um, for the inner eyeliner for the freaking inner eyeliner what the hell for the waterline I'm going to be using this white one and then for the top I'm going to be using black so I'll be right back when I'm done doing all that. Okay guys so I didn't put my white um, eyeliner yet because I still need to put my bottom lash mascara but I'm going to be showing you guys the lashes. These are some new lashes I'm going to be trying. These are my the ones I regularly use but these are the ones that I'm going to be trying today. I'm probably going to try out these right here. And they're just long and wispy. And those lashes actually came in a huge packet, which is this packet right here. And the ones I'm going to be using, um, they're going to be either these or these. I don't even know which ones they are. Alright guys, so I went to go do my hair just a little bit. I didn't do too much, just some some wavy curls. It's not too much because I didn't want to burn my hair today. And then I just put this little cute beanie on. But this stupid orejas or whatever this is doesn't want to sit up like that. Cute. So it keeps going all upside. So I'm going to just leave it. Anyways. So I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 2. And then I'm going to go in with this brand new KKW Semi Matte Liquid Lipstick. And um, let me line my lips off of camera. And then I will show you guys how to apply that one and how I like it. Okay guys, so now that I've lined my lips, I'm going to be putting on the birthday suit semi matte liquid lipstick like i said let's see how i like this right off the bat when i applied it it was so smooth on my lips it hasn't dried like to where your lips are feeling crunchy as fuck that's why you'll never catch me wearing a lipstick because honestly i hate lipsticks that make your feel your lips feel all dry and shit this one is actually super good like I might go buy more colors or I might just stay with this one. You can hear my nephew in the back. Ugh. So anyways, let me just finish this by saying I'm not this video is not done, so I am gonna be doing a wear test of this whole makeup look. I didn't just try it for nothing. I will be like updating you guys throughout the day um how I like the makeup, if it's holding up, if it's creased or anything like that. Any updates I'll I will sure update you guys. I for sure will update you guys but right off the bat guys if you guys like something that's not going to make your lips feel super crunchy then this is super good and for the winter i normally have to no matter what mandatory have to wear matte ones because if not when i wear gloss like and the wind is blowing on my my, my hair will get stuck on my lips and i hate that because then i'll get lines right here and i don't like that so um this is going to be in my purse and i am going to be using this so do I recommend it if you don't like them crunchy as lips and you like the soft feeling then hell yeah you should get this one. This is in the shade birthday suit again. So um, I'll update you guys throughout the day on how I like my makeup and at the end of the day I'll give my final thoughts what I recommend and all that stuff. So keep watching and you'll find out how I like this makeup if I recommend it or not. So stay tuned. 
back outside i'm leaving my house i actually had an outfit change now i'm wearing this but anyways this is how it looks outside mm, look at that freaking highlight all right guys so i'm gonna get in the car and then i'll update you guys when i get back how my makeup is doing all right guys so i'm back a couple hours later i think i've worn this makeup for like four to five hours it is currently 8 40 and when i stopped recording it was like 30 like 309 or something like that so basically this is how i'm looking now let me close my eyes so as you can tell i haven't retouched my lips and i ate in and out and um i went out and everything and i did everything i don't have no type of freaking normally my smile lines would have cracked and i would have been all like well like right here i would have been cracked because i laugh a lot but this foundation and powder and all that stuff literally literally did not allow me to crack so I like everything so far so good I think I recommend the Morphe palette the one for the face the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder because I haven't even creased or nothing under my eyes um, I like this micro smooth powder but I like I said Char Charlotte Tilbury is probably like one of the best ones I, I like that one a lot and then the foundation for sure you have to get if you don't want to try the kkw there is so much drugstore ones but i do really also love that kkw concealer um i kind of love everything in this tall so like there's literally nothing i wouldn't say not to purchase each and every single one of them worked out on my face just fine so guys i recommend all those products i know it's a lot of money i know it's six hundred dollars but ugh, everything was worth the money so take what you need you don't need all the powders i use you know what you could just literally get some of the stuff you don't have to get everything but guys makeup is expensive if you want to look good i mean at the end of the day you don't have to buy expensive makeup to look good but if you do want to look extra good and you want to be wearing some good makeup then go ahead and spend your money um I'm putting this video before Christmas so it could be on all your guys' Christmas um, Christmas list. Ask your mom, ask your dad, ask your freaking boyfriend, ask your Sancho's, ask anybody for, for anything. Like, ask each and every single one of them for one of the products because everything in this is so good. And literally, just practice my makeup steps every day. Like, watch my makeup tutorial and I promise you, you'll learn. It's easy. Literally, it's all easy. All you gotta do is freaking blend. I can't stress that enough like literally blending is the most important part of makeup so if you know how to blend girl you got this shit so um basically this is how i look and it's been a couple hours it's been since three o'clock and it's currently 11 so i'm not gonna take off the makeup yet so we could really test this makeup out the only places i've cracked are like right here and that's like a normal thing i laugh too much for me not to crack i don't i'm not freaking i don't have botox i'm not just no, I cry. I crease everywhere. Well, not everywhere, just right here. But rude! Wow, Sandy Lou's so freaking rude. Guys, look at that's my sister's contact. If you know her, you know she looks like that. Anyways, I'll come back right now. Oh shit! I'll come back right now to check um up with you guys and let you guys know how this makeup has lasted. Okay, guys. So it is 1:30 in the morning, and this is how I'm looking. The make. The makeup is still looking good, but but I'm going to take it off already. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I liked every single product that I bought in this. Honestly, there's some things that you don't need to spend your money on. Like, the setting sprays, they're all expensive. There's some that are drugstore and do the same thing. But it's just, all these products did work out for me, not going to lie, but... If you guys want to buy them, go ahead and buy them. But if you don't want to spend the money, there is other um, stuff that works just the same and it's cheaper. So if you guys want to see a drugstore video, like of all the products that I love from the drugstore, let me know and I will show you guys. So this is me closing out the video because I'm about to take this makeup off. And yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed it catch you guys in the next video or you guys are gonna catch me in the next video but yeah thank you so much for watching subscribe like subscribe like comment 
share this comment what you want to see everything all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup so catch you guys in the next video